In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to generate bubble effects in Adobe After Effects CS6. First of all, generate a white solid layer and apply the CC Particle World and Fast Blur effect on the layer. Now move to the configuration window of and expand the grid and guides menu. Uncheck the radius option, set the birth rate to 5.0 and longevity to 2.0. Now expand the producer menu. Set position X to 0.38, position Y to 0.21, and position Z to negative 0.22. Similarly, set radius X to 1.500, radius Y to 1.500, and radius Z to 0.000. .000. Move to and expand the Physics menu. Choose Fractal Omni for the animation. Set the velocity to 0.25, Extra to 0.0, .0 and Extra Angle to 1x plus 0.0, .0 degree. Expand the Particle menu and choose Lens Convex for the particle type. Set the Birth Size to 0.5, Death Size to 0.25, Size Variation to 100, and Max Opacity to 25%. Now the bubble effect will be generated, but if you aren't satisfied with the output and want to expand the bubble size, re-edit the Death Size option in the Configuration window. Once done with the Particle World effect, it's time to move to the Fast Blur effect. Set the blurriness to 40, and tick on the checkbox titled Repeats Edges Pixels. With that done, duplicate this layer and reposition it beneath the old layer. Expand the Grid and Guides menu. Uncheck the Radius option and move over to the Producer menu. Here, set Position X and Position Y to 0.21, Position Z to 1.86, Radius X and Y to 1.5, and Radius Z to 0.000. .000. Now expand the Particle menu and change its Birth Size to 0.25. Once done, generate a light yellow solid layer and reduce its opacity to 30%. Similarly, generate a block solid layer and apply an ellipse mask on the layer. Set the mask feather to 500 pixels and mask expansion to negative 37 pixels. Now reduce the opacity to 50% from the transform menu and you're done. 